puts an end to vengeance. It's saying, if my eye offended you, then take only one eye, not all eyes. And then if you have offended me, I will do the same one eye. And so the vengeance ends there. If you, if my if I hurt you, I offended you, you take my one foot on you, not the whole mouth. So when that happens, the vengeance is already finished. It ends there. And that's how they look at justice and sometimes that they they take it as one to one. So in other words, you don't go beyond an eye or a tooth or even a foot or a hand. But Jesus tried to expand the meaning of that justice when he said, when someone strikes you on your right cheek, turn the other one as well. So what Jesus is trying to tell us is that there's, we should offer no resistance to one who is evil. But rather, you can only conquer evil, not with evil. You can only conquer uh, pain, not with pain, or inflicting pain. But rather, you can conquer evil with good. And that's what the Lord is saying. When someone strikes you on the right cheek, turn the other one to him as well. If anyone wants to go to law with you over your tunic, instead of going to law or accusing that person, hand him your cloak as well. So what the Lord is trying to tell us and his disciples is, we have to be different. We don't follow the law of the jungle, eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth, but rather we go beyond that. If evil is done to you, then he said, do good to the person who did you evil. Because if you continue to do the same thing to that person, he did to you evil, and you return that evil to exact justice and vengeance, then there will be no end to evil in this world. In fact, you contribute to the growth of evil in the world. So if you're not evil, if somebody did something evil to you, then show that person good. That's what the Lord is saying. In other words, you try to be different from that person. What makes a difference, you know? He did you wrong, and you re return that wrongness with another wrong. So when somebody kill, kills, and then you kill also, then we will all be finished in the world. Nobody lives here anymore. So the Lord is saying, go beyond. Go above. You should transcend what is not right and not is good. And that is why the Lord said, Give to the one who asks of you, and do not turn your back on one who wants to borrow. Again, meaning we should be better than the other person. If the person backbites you, or backstabs you, do you backstab too? If, the somebody, if somebody make a bad chismis about you, do you also make a bad chismis about that person? When you know that that person did you wrong by telling false or untrue about you, will you do the same? then the chismis will never end. 
then the backstabbing and backbiting will never end. What the Lord is saying, put an end to what is not good. Unless you want to contribute to the growth of evil in the world today. And the only way that evil will grow and prosper in the world today is if you continue to entertain doing what that evil is doing to the other person. So you have to be different. In fact, you have to be like God. Jesus came to this world and then he was denied. In fact, he was abused. He was accused. There are so many accusations about him. But at the end, he said, Forgive them for they know not what they are doing. So my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today the Lord is telling us, Offer no resistance to one who is evil. I know it's a human reaction, it's a human action to get back at the other person. It's a human reaction. If somebody hurts you, you like to hurt that person too, to get even, as they say. But if everyone is like that, to get even with the other person, then evil continues to grow and prosper in the world today. The good has to be better. And we are supposed to be on the side of the good, aren't we? We come to Mass, we praise the Lord, we worship God, we receive the Eucharist. But at the end of the day, it seems that we do not have Jesus in us in the Eucharist. Because... If somebody did something wrong, we would like to do something wrong also to that person. Amen. Please stand and let us now offer our prayers. In every petition, let your response be, Lord, hear our prayers. Let us pray to the, that the church which draws her life from the Eucharist may worship this mystery with ever deeper faith and devotion. We pray to the Lord. For all who have been made ill by the coronavirus, for all who care for them, and for the governments and people of the world that we may experience the healing mercy of the Lord, we pray to the Lord. That all God's children may have sufficient bread for their physical life and the bread of life for their spiritual life, we pray to the Lord. That all the faithful departed may share the eternal life that Jesus promise to those who feed on the bread of, from heaven, we pray to the Lord. Let us pray together with our patron, St. Catherine of Siena, for all our petitions. Let us pray for the intentions of Aster Wilson and family, for Rasban Maxim, Silvia Alvarado, and for the soul of Ambrosio Garay. For all this, we pray to the Lord. Father, may we who worship the mystery of the Lord's body and blood always experience within us the power of His redemption. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. 
Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me from my sin. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Celebrating the memorial of our salvation, we humbly beseech your mercy, O Lord, that this sacrament of your loving kindness may be for us the sign of unity and the bond of charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him. Through Christ our Lord, through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven, in the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim, worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are holy indeed, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. You proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Receive the prayers and intentions we offer, especially for the healing of Josette de Lasco, Crescencia Lopena, Receive our prayers and intentions for Eleanor Santos, Elizabeth Cruz, Kathleen O'Toole, for Jane Rodriguez. Receive our prayers for Janet Cordero in thanksgiving, for Dwight and Chita Tabanlar. We pray also for Clarissa Martinez. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. For Antonio Fuentes, Ben Dice, 
George Floyd, and all those who have died because of coronavirus, COVID-19, without the benefit of the sacraments, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Catherine of Siena, Saint Pio Pietrel China, Saint Peregrine, Saint Faustina, Saint Jose Maria Scriva, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
shadows of the night, I will be your light. Come and rest in me. Do not be afraid, I am with you. I have called you each by name. Come and follow me, I will bring you home. I love you and you are mine. I am strength for all the despairing, healing for the ones who dwell in shame. All the blind will see, the lame will all run free, and all will know my name. Do not be afraid, I am with you. I have called you each by name. Come and follow me. I will bring you Let us pray. Pour out on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness make those who believe in you one in mind and heart by the power of this sacrifice. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us all go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Have a nice day. Be safe. Okay? Praise to our God. You alone gives right to our days. Many Presence forever.
never satisfied Take me deeper Deeper in love with you Jesus, hold me close in your embrace. Take me deeper, deeper than I've ever been before. I just want to love you more and more. How I long to be deep.